31, how many different ways can the letters of each word be arranged? We have five examples here. Once you get used to it, it gets easier. And uh, what we need to know is we're looking for distinguishable permutations. So we want distinguishable permutations. Also, anytime you see the word arranged, that signifies it's a permutation. So we're dealing with permutations with repetitions and we're using this formula. So for example, for Peggy, our total number is five. So you write five factorial. Now the only thing we have that is duplicate or repeated is the G. So we have P equals two because there's two G's. And then uh, when you write it out, you can write it out as 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 factorial divided by 2 factorial. This gives you 20 times 3, and 20 times 3 is 60. So 60 ways uh, each of these can be arranged to show uh, an order. It has to be distinguishable. All right, the next one is study. So for study, um, we have five letters, and uh, none of the letters repeat. So it's just five factorial, and that's going to be um, 120. The word algebra. All right, let's look. How many letters do we have? Three and four, so that's seven factorial. Now how many A's do we have? One two. So we have two A's, so that's going to be two factorial. Got rid of the A's. How many L's? One. One G, one B, one R. So that's all that is. So um, this would be like seven times six times five times four times three times two factorial divided by two factorial. So that cancels out and when you multiply this out you're going to get this equals, um, oh, let's see, three is 2,520. All right. Now for essential, let's see what we have here. Let's see, we have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So we have a total of 10 total letters. So our N is 10. How many E's we have? Just one. Oh, we have two E's. So I got my E's. We have two S's. Two S's. We have one N. One T. One I and one. Okay, so everything else is just one. So that's two factorial divided by two factorial. So for that uh, answer, that's going to equal 90,720. Remember, if you're using a calculator for factorial, always put that in parentheses. If you don't have a good calculator, you can just write it out as 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 factorial. And this 2 factorial will cancel. And you still have another two. Remember, two factorial is two times one. So you could actually just say, well, that's five. And cancel that out and multiply that out. All right, the next one, repetition. So let's see how many words. Three, one, two, three, 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 ten. Again, so one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten total. All right, n is 10. Now let's see. How many r's? Just one r. How many e's? We have two e's. So two e's. So that'll be two factorial. How many p's? Just one. How many t's? Two t's. That's two factorial. How many I's? Two I's. 
So that's another two factorial. And then we just have one each of those. So basically you can put that in the calculator or multiply it out like we did before. And for this one, the answer will be um, 453,600. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.